Hello there. So, there is apparently no more sun in the Buffyverse, and we've just found out that the connection to the Rock Demon is indeed Angelus, and it looks like it's going to be a banger of an episode. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Ellie Moses here, 22-year-old law film show in Sydney, Australia, shooting his shot, baby, and we are up to episode 10 of Angel Season 4, almost at the halfway point. This episode is titled Awakening. I cannot wait to see what's in store for us. Little bit of a shake up in the characters last episode with Gwen coming into the fray and we're going to continue to see how the characters interact with each other as they try to take down the Rock Demon. Um, I think I'm calling it the Rock Demon, whatever it is. But yeah, let's find out what's going to happen in Angel episode 10 of season 4. Let's go. From the National Weather Service remain baffled as to the cause of this strange phenomenon. Okay, that's good that we're dealing with the news. mid-afternoon hour. Is what meteorologists are calling, quote, a localized abnormality, confirming earlier reports that outlying areas remain unaffected, while the sun over Los Angeles has, for all intents and purposes, oh. been blotted out from the sky. Okay, there we go. So it's the just Arizona over Los Angeles. News conference for six o'clock this evening regarding this bizarre development and what it may mean for the city. I'll tell you what it means. As soon as Vance everywhere realize this town's open for business 24 7. That is true as well. There's be a huge rise in undead tourism. Nighttime forever. Find so far. Bring back the sun. Working on it. Thanks, Wesley. Gun does not He's like the sound of that. Expertise. <laughs> yeah, well, Rogue Warrior took off without a word. Right after Electric Gwen decided to skip town when the going got tough. Not big on the teamwork, either one of them. Time. Did Gwen skip town? The answer is among us. That's great. An angel singing. <laughs> He's part of the plan. He doesn't remember. So he says. You saw him yourself making a pact with the beast. It wasn't angel in my vision. It was Angelus. Oh, no. He is Angelus. Oh, no, honestly, me. this kid. You've never met Angelus. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Cordelia. You put him in his place. But I'm starting to think maybe it's time we did. Maybe we're... Putting that soul is the only way to change angel back into Angelus. That's a massive it's gamble. It's said than done. For Angel to lose his soul, he would have to experience a moment of perfect, pure happiness. <laughs> and right now, happiness of any kind is in kind of short supply. To which things, even if I wanted it, there's no way to bring Angel's back. Ah, oh, there's always a way. Pure happiness. Hmm. Bro, did we really bring back Gwen for one episode just to ditch her and say she skipped town? I liked her with the group. Rumor has it you possess certain skills I require. <laughs> Boss Wesley finds it. I need a soul extracted. Temporarily extracted, please. Wesley's just in a I don't give a crap attitude. I want to do what must be done so we can save the world. He's just does not care about the consequences for Angel or Angelus or whatever it is. He just, he's like, you know what? What must be done, must be done. That's it. <laughs> Maybe even I was starting to. But it was you all along. You're the one who's working with the beast. There we go. It. Well, then you're a puppet. There we go. Either way, everything's going to hell because of you. You're the reason that the sun is gone, that I don't have a home to go back to. You're the reason that she... Want to have sex with me? Come on, come on, Connor, say it. It's you. Thinking with your dick again? You're the reason my life sucks. Oh my gosh. As soon as Connor heard it was not his fault, yo, my guy started just destroying Angel with blame. <laughs> Get over it. <laughs> Cordelia said the same uh, thing. Not to be a Puntinsky, <laughs> but could we get back to the pep talky thing? I'd much prefer we had a plan. Here's one. Him. <laughs> Who's he? Wu Pang, he can deliver Angelus to us. I've heard a dark mystic here without talking Means to Means he has the power to extract souls. Claims, <laughs> more importantly, he can restore them. Once we learn what it is Angelus knows about the beast, That's good. we're not bringing Angelus. We don't have a choice. Actually, I do. That was it. You want to hear it again? Not with the bringing. Don't make this harder than it has to be, Angel. There's no plan B, and we're running out of time. People are in serious danger. Then unleashing Angelus is the last thing we should do. If he's here, I'm not. Only temporary. We'll take all the necessary precautions in the interim. Contain you. We'll see about that. I'm not blind to the risks. I know what Angelus. You have no idea what Angelus is, Wesley. 
all you know is what you've read in books. You've never had the pleasure of his company. And you're not going to. I love how they talk about Angelus. Like it's the most destructive force in the entire Buffyverse. That's a big no-no. <laughs> you do but she's lived these well, memories if i didn't when angelus was loose and killing in sunnydale then reliving his past horrors in virtual widescreen sense round during <laughs> my tenure in Floodyville pretty much makes me an expert i think deep down they know that's the only solution to unleash angelus you're smart he's just in genius. But in that twisted, sadistic, <laughs> ruthless kind of way. Like the beast. Yes, exactly. They think alike. Always a step or two ahead of us. I mean, what is it about evil that jacks up the IQ points? It's like whenever. <laughs> yeah, must be done. Angel. Awaken and jealous. Need a cage. Cage. Strong one, about ten by twelve, steel reinforced, two inch bars. <laughs> Three. Even if Angelus can't run amok, I'm interested to see the dialogue they write for him. What do you think something like that's gonna hold the beast? It's not for the beast. It's for him. They're hyping up Angelus so much to those who have not experienced him. <laughs> Thing I never never wanted you to see. Yeah. They can handle it. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> we'll see about that. We'll just keep in mind. That whatever Angelus says, whatever he does, remember, he's not your father. I love you. Hey. We'll see if Connor reciprocates that love or continues to be annoying. Just, you know, take care of everybody. Keep it safe. That means if anything should go wrong with Angelus, you're going to have to kill me. Okay. <laughs> if anything goes wrong. Right. Feels so okay. quick to say okay to that. It would be wise for your safety to add the second lock to the door. Do as he says. Man, poor shaman. We're just double locking him in there with Angelus. Hopefully he doesn't die. You don't have to do this. Now she tells me. <laughs> Close your eyes. And don't speak. Damn. Time to say goodbye. What? Is what? Gun. Who? Why would I help you? I serve the awakened one. Oh. Help here, please. This guy was gonna compromise the whole joint. Great. And he can fight. Nice recruitment, Wesley. Maybe I should just start taking you apart now. Peace. Oh, he took himself apart. By peace. See if he has anything on him. What a waste of installing the cage. He's got something on him, all right. <laughs> He's got something all over him. Where's the stab mark? Well, is there any part of this guy that doesn't have writing all over it? Uh, scratch that. I don't want to know. Can you translate <laughs> it? Most of it. Definitely scripture. Here, under the city. Oh, at the break. Do you hear that? There's a sword. A sword to kill the beast. <laughs> and you wanted to turn me into Angelus by having an evil shaman cut off my head. Hey, I wanted to see Angelus. That wasn't a swell plan, too. <laughs> Was that an apology? I was careless. Made a mistake that almost cost you your life. Hey, but he brought the guy that gave you information. Would have made pulling you out of the ocean a big waste of my time. Yeah, that would have been a drag. This whole joint riddled with bell traps. Christmas came early. Oh, okay. oh. Wesley got that pace to get away. Oh, my. 
dead end. Cool booby trapped at dead end. That's just not right. There's something here. It's brewed up. Right. Connor, go with Wes. Gordon, I'll take the one on the left. I'll go with Cardinal. Connor, <laughs> I mean, what difference does it make? Why do we I? We don't have time for a discussion. Just, just go with Wesley. Oh, baby, Connor can't be with his girl. He's still confused about things. I really made a mess of a messy situation down there. <laughs> you have. <laughs> Some really rotten decisions I'd love to take back. Some kind of convention of a hub. That's why the sword can be in a hundred places. Ah. At once. Oh, you just got the sword like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things are starting to look red. <laughs> They're not gonna make Cordy burn alive, surely. No, 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 no. You, you can't. You can't, can't go back there. Are you? No, 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 no. I'm good. Uh, I'm good. See? Uh, I missed the pointy end. <laughs> you done effed up, Cordelia, and you know it. <laughs> I could have died. But we didn't. What if we had? What if we had been deep fried trying to save the world again and I didn't have the chance to tell you? I love you. Tell me what? I'm sorry. Oh, okay. For what happened. What I let happen with Connor. I was lost. See, it's gonna be all right. Gonna face. I would. I would not take Cordelia back after finding out my son banged her. Sorry. You need to know that I can look back and see every horrible thing you've ever done as Angelus, and it doesn't matter anymore. Because when I'm with you, all I feel is the good you've done as Angel. See, she's pouring her heart out, but still, man. I know I hurt you. I know I don't deserve forgiveness. Care what you've done in your past, either. Ooh. Oh, no, nah, that's wrong. That's wrong. Okay. That's right, Angel. How's Connor's lips taste? <laughs> I'm mucking around. The danger is Connor seeing this. And I spoke too soon. Connor, stop thinking with your pee pee. You Connor, little weenie. Connor, there we go. This whole thing has screwed up the whole situation. Wesley, just get the popcorn out, man. Just get the popcorn and enjoy yourself. Connor, leave me alone. Can't we just talk about this? Listen, before Connor and Angel talk about this, it is wrong, man. It's just, it's just, it's not pleasant to see Angel kissing Cordelia knowing that his own son had banged her first before him it's just not cool and if they're gonna roll with the cordelia being with angel and if they do end up having a sex scene or banging with each other that connor thing is not gonna get out of my head right it was just a poor decision they made and they shouldn't have gone with it maybe if they dealt with they could have gone with connor maybe having feelings for cordelia but cordelia wasn't reciprocating maybe something like that because cordelia was adamant that you know i love your father and that's the way it's gonna be but the, the fact that she's had sex with Connor and giving him that happiness and he knows what it, like, I guess he knows what it feels like, I guess. And he knows, um, like, the pleasure of it and he knows, like, I don't know how to, how to, like, how, how, it, how it is to feel with someone. That's the problem right there. That's the problem with Connor. And, yeah, he, he's not going to be able to deal with it. <laughs> don't move. Don't tell me what to do. See? Connor. 
So he's not going to kill his dad. And he's smiling yeah, about it. Yeah. I can really see why she wants you. Wow. Connor, I know you're hurt. You don't know anything, Dad. Except, except not to take things away from me. Bam! She was... Why? Nothing in this world is the way it ought to be, right? It's harsh and cruel. And he just saved your life again? Oh, okay. No. I don't care about me being saved. I'm just going to continue to harm my dad. This isn't a place for this. Round 56 of Father vs. Child. It's your fault. It's all your fault. Honestly, grow up. The only one ever felt like that. Wished his father were dead. Yeah, but mine already is. Oh, here we go. It's not all about you, Connor. What you want isn't always what other people need. Mine! No, she was. No, she exactly. No, she wasn't. Who do you think she's an object? I'm sorry, Connor. But you need to understand that. Cordelia, her own independent Connor. woman. Vash Maad, Slayer of the Beast. Ooh, can I play with it? <laughs> Connor. Patrolling. Yeah, yeah. Leave, leave, Connor. We have the sword. Now or when you... <laughs> Bloody gun, man. My bad. <laughs> it's on the house. Business. All we need to do is locate the beast. Things we sure can never do together. But we're always there for each other when it counts. We've never let the darkness win. Let's go! And it's not because of the powers that be, or the super strength, or the magical weapons. Because we believe in each other. That's it. Not just as friends or lovers, but as champions. That means Wesley's back in the group, Always. yeah? Together. Still a bit of tension there, but like, it means Adam and Eddie's back. Wait. We're not stronger together. We can't do this alone. I'm not. Drop the Hallmark crap. That might placate the shiny happies over there, but I'm working with a little more investment. I can't lose you. Not now. Not when we're just starting. <laughs> I've never been more sure of anything. I'll come back. I can't stop thinking about Connor and Cordelia <laughs> with this situation. Promise. So hard to let go. Worst that I gotta do is I gotta find the beast. Oh, he just, the beast came to you. How about that? Oh, there he is. <laughs> For the agony of my wrath. Has this guy's accent changed? Is that what I think it is? Go. If we could rule this world, why do you oppose me? Rain of fire, blocking out the sun, and you just kind of piss me off. <laughs> it doesn't have to be this way, I'm jealous. I don't think it does. I was about to say, is the sword doing damage? But clearly it is. Oh, there goes your only weapon. Back up. Oh, it's actually Connor. Oh, Join the father and then. No, and kicking your stony ass. Oh, there's still the tip of the sword to use. Name is Angel. Since when did Connor do a mad 360? Oh! You know what? There was like 10 minutes left in the episode, and I didn't think the big bad, or the big bad, the, the, the rock demon was going to be defeated this episode. I was like, maybe there's going to be a cliffhanger, and we end for like a Dad. finale, or like another episode, part of the three episode arc. I don't know. Back. Like, I'd let you take all the credit for saving the world? Why is Connor so happy at the moment? You're right. It is harsh. And uh -huh. cruel. Uh huh. She was the only thing that made it hurt less. Wow, Connor understanding. But it's not me. Oh! I could feel it in her touch. In her eyes. She 
loves you. It's always been you. I'm gonna have to let the past die like Kylo Ren. I'm sorry. If I get Connor Bane Cordelia. She was too old for me anyway. <laughs> Is this what it feels like? Being a champion. Hey Connor, Gwen's available. Pretty much. Hey, at least Connor some sort of has some sort Connor? of understanding. But he could be a little sneak still. He could have some mischievous ways still. Oh, oh my god. Emotional snaps. You did it. Oh you did it. Hey, Cordelia, new hairstyle. Must be hard. Seeing everyone so happy because of what you did. Being the light back. But not being able to go out into it. That's all right. With the no apocalypse possible. plan, I think Angel is made human again. With the apocalypse plan, if that comes true. The image of Connor in bed with Cordelia just popped up again. I know you guys are probably getting sick and tired of me hearing this, but yeah, like I said, let the past die like Kylo Ren, but hard to forget it. Imagine they throw a role reversal and Connor is watching Angel with Cordelia now. Similar to how Angel was watching Cordelia with Connor a couple of episodes. Whatever it is, it's gonna be okay. In the moment. Everything is the way it's supposed to be. For once. Uh, I feel like something's gonna happen. Angel, I've been waiting long enough. Floppy seconds for Angel! <laughs> uh. Oh, perfect happiness! Angelus could come! That's the cliffhanger! Maybe he's gonna un be unleashed after all. You gotta be careful, Angel. There we go. Did he just say Buffy? Oh God. No. The vision becomes reality. Wow. Wow. I still gotta live with the Connor shit! <laughs> Illusion becomes reality. <laughs> <laughs> what a banger! What a banger of an episode! <laughs> Literally. <sighs> <laughs> you guys were probably all laughing at me that entire episode that's like two out of the last three uploads i'm going to do in the future obviously we had the buffy episode of me getting rickrolled with the dawn being a potential slayer and then now we had this one right here with angelus basically being awakened but the illusion becomes reality so that whole transition between I guess Angel and Angelus, he lived like the perfect scenario of them defeating the beast and this sword being the way of defeating the beast. Now, whether there is some still truth to that of like potentially that shaman having all those symbols on him um, when Angel's back and gets his soul back, I don't know. Like maybe that was just a whole facade. It was all a way to rickroll the entire audience. It was all made up and that's just the perfect scenario that played out in Angel's mind before Angelus was awakened again. So yeah, because at the end I was like, yo, Angel is going to be awakened. Like he's having that perfect moment with Cordelia and that's the cliffhanger we're going to end on. And you think that, but then no, there's another cliffhanger to end on, which is basically the whole thing that just played out. The whole perfect scenario, the rock demon being defeated, Connor coming to terms with everything. And I was just like, no, like I was sus. I was like, sure. I was like, not on the right track of it being like obviously what it was. I was like, I was, like with Connor, I was just like, he's accepted it too easily. I was like, there's no way he would do that. And look what it was a big reveal at the end where the whole episode took place in a matter of like seconds in terms of Angel being 
or awaken that transition between Angel and Angelus, and it was a banger indeed. It was a banger indeed, and we end with the laughter of Angelus that, yo, not all things are right. Not all things are right. It's not the happy, clappy ending we got it to be. And yeah, we're still going to have to live with the fact that Cordelia Bancona and Cord Cordelia didn't say she loves Angel. Like, they didn't get back together. So it's going to be interesting to see. Throughout that whole thing, the whole events that were playing out, none of it was real. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below to Awakening Episode 10 of Angel Season uh, 4. That was a banger. That was indeed the banger. Probably one of the best episodes of Season uh, 4, knowing how that ended. So, uh, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. As always, it's been your brother Moses. Take care. God bless. Peace.